Okay, let's look at another example of solving a linear homogeneous recurrence relation, this time with a little bit of a difference, as you'll see once we get into it. So here's the linear homogeneous recurrence relation. Again, homogeneous because it's equal to zero. Linear because all we're doing is combining the uh, terms of the sequence by multiplying by constants and then adding or subtracting. And we have two initial conditions. So in the last video, we saw a four-step algorithm for how to go about this solution process, the first step of which is to take the um, recurrence relation and turn it into its characteristic equation. The characteristic equation in this case, since this is order 2, is going to be a squared minus 4a plus 4 equals 0. And the hope here is that by converting the recurrence relation into easy algebra, we should be able to do the algebra and then use the results. The next step in the process was to find the roots of this uh, equation here, the solutions to this equation. I'm going to do this by factoring again because I want you to see that this factors into a minus 2 the quantity squared. So this has only one root here, namely a equals 2, and it's what's called a double root or a repeated root. This causes problems for us in the uh, algorithm because if you remember from the algorithm in the previous video, we really needed two roots to set up that, uh, that uh, framework for our solution. We only have one root, so what are we going to do? Well, here's where a wrinkle in the algorithm comes up. In the case of a repeated root, instead of having something like s of k equals just the one root, which was 2, that turns out it's not going to be enough to describe the entire recurrence relation. So we're not going to do that. What we are going to do instead is a little bit of a twist here. So if we have a repeated root, we're going to do this. We're going to set up, we're still going to use 2 to the k. Uh, use our root and turn it into a little mini exponential function. But in front of that 2 to the k, we're going to have b1 plus b2 times k 2 to the k. So instead of having two exponential functions added together, we have one with a linear function multiplied by it. This has the two uh, coefficients, b1 and b2, in here, so let's see what we can make out of this. Now, a minute ago, we said uh, that s of 0 was equal to 10 when we started the problem, and also that s of 1 was equal to 16, our two initial conditions. If I use those two initial conditions, I should be able to find out the values of b1 and b2. Once I have the values of b1 and b2 to plug in, I will have a fully, a completely fleshed out solution to the recurrence relation. So let's plug in 0, first of all. Uh, if I plug in 0, I will get b1 plus b2 times 0, and that is times 2 to the 0 power. Here, the red stuff is where the k is going. Now this, okay, so now let's do a little simplifying here. b2 times 0, of course, is just going to be 0, and 2 to the 0 is just equal to 1. And so what this is going to tell me is that s of 0 is just equal to b1, but b but s of 0 is also equal to 10, and so what this is telling me is simply that b1 is equal to 10. So I found one of my b's. Now let's see how we can find the b2, and we're going to do that using the other uh, initial condition. I'm going to clear out just a little bit of room here by erasing some of the uh, markings. Now if I use the other initial condition, I'll do this right here, that is going to say that s of 1, if I plug 1 in for k, I get b1 plus b2 times 1 times 2 to the 1. That is equal to 2b1 plus 2b2. And all that's supposed to equal 16, like so. So this is equal to 16. And what this is telling me, I have an equation here that says 2b1 plus 2b2 equals 16. Let me divide both sides of that equation by 2 and get b1 plus b2 equals 8. And now finally, b1 is equal to 10. So I can make a little substitution here very quickly. Get rid of that line segment if I can. And if b1 is equal to 10, then that means that b2 is equal to, must be negative 2. So now we can put our pieces together here, and let's do that on the next slide. 
So we found that using the skeleton framework here, which again is different than what was, we saw in the previous video because we had a repeated root this time, we were still able to, using that skeleton framework, uh, use the initial conditions to find these two values of B. So now let's just put them in where you see them, here and here, and we will have our final solution. So our final closed form solution is S of K is 10 minus 2 times K, the whole thing, times 2 to the K power. And that is our solution for that recurrence relation with a repeated root.